All right, so in this equation, I have x minus four to the power of four is equal to x to the power of four. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And for my solution to this problem, what I'm first gonna do is start by subtracting x to the power of 4 on both sides. So if I do that, I get x minus 4 to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 4 is equal to 0. Now from here, I can rewrite x minus 4 to the power of 4 as x minus 4 to the power of 2 times 2. And I can do the same thing with x to the power of 4, so I get x to the power of 2 times 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x minus 4 to the power of 2 times 2 is going to equal x minus 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. And then I have this minus x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now from here, I can use the algebraic property that states that if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, I have x minus 4 squared to the power of 2, and that's going to equal x minus 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. So a is x minus 4 squared, and b is x squared. So I get x minus 4 squared plus x squared times x minus 4 squared minus x squared is equal to 0. And now, from here, I'm going to expand x minus 4 squared, so I get x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus x squared times x squared minus 8x plus 16 minus x squared, which is equal to 0. And now these two cancel out, or sorry, these two cancel out, and these two add. x squared plus x squared is 2x squared, so I get 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 times negative 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. Now 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 times negative 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. This can be divided into two equations. I have 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0 and negative 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. So 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So now I get x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0. And now I can use the quadratic formula to solve this since it's a quadratic equation. So now the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 4, and c is 8. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 4 squared, which is 16, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 8. And I have this all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And now this is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 32 over 2, which is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 16 over 2. 
And now the square root of negative 16, that's the same thing as the square root of 16 times the square root of negative 1. And now I have this over 2. And if you guys already didn't know, the imaginary number i, this is equal to the square root of negative 1. So now I have x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16i over 2. Now the square root of 16 is simply 4. So I get x is equal to 4 plus or minus 4i over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus 2i. And now for my second equation, I have negative 8x plus 16. All I have to do is add 8x on both sides. And I get 8x is equal to 16, meaning x is equal to 2. So I have three solutions to this equation. All right, so in this video, we're going to be solving the equation x to the power of x is equal to 8. So, at first glance, this problem may look challenging. So, to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the ln, or natural log, on both sides. So, I'll get ln x to the power of x is equal to ln 8. And a helpful property that comes with logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent to the front, so this turns into L b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I get x times ln x is equal to ln 8. Now from here, I'm going to use another formula that states that if I have something in the form w of a times e to the power of a, this is equal to a. And this is something known as the W Lambert formula. So if I take the W of something in the form a times e to the power of a, it's going to equal a. So in this case, I'm going to rewrite this as ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 8 because x is the same thing as e to the power of ln x. So now I can use this formula. So I'm going to take the w on both sides. So I have w of ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to what I have to do on one side, I have to do the other side. So I w of ln 8. And this simply turns into e to the power of ln x is equal to, or sorry, ln x is equal to w of ln 8. And then now I'm going to take e to the power of both sides. So I get e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of w of ln 8, and e and ln cancel out, so I get x is equal to e to the power of w of ln 8. So this is my value of x. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends and family members, and I have a lot of problems like these on my channel, so please make sure to go ahead and check them out. Thank you guys for watching.